Mr. Castle, got quite a rap sheet here for a best-selling author. From the Drunken Disorderlies, Disturbing the Peace. Hmm. What's with me, boys? It says here you stole a police horse. Bart. And you were nude at the time. It was spring. And every time the charges were dropped. What can I say? The mayor is a fan. But if it makes you feel any better, I'd be happy to let you spank me. Mr. Castle, this whole bad boy thing you've got going here is very charming, maybe to bimbets and celebutants. Me, I work for a living. That makes you one of two things to me. You're either the guy that makes my life easier or the guy that makes my life harder. And I assure you, you don't want to be the guy that makes my life harder. Oh. Wow. Yeah, okay. Cool it. Okay. Take a look at this. This is Allison Tisdale. She's a daughter of real estate mogul Jonathan Tisdale. She's cute. Yeah, well, she's dead. She's, uh, did you ever meet her? Uh, charity event, book signing? It's possible, but she's not my little black book, if that's what you're asking. How about this, Don? Martin Fisk. Small claims lawyer? Most of my claims tend to be on the large side. What's this got to do with me? Well, we found Fisk dead in his apartment two weeks ago. Um, I didn't put the two together until I saw the Tisdale crime scene tonight. This is how we found her. Flowers for your grave. Exactly. And this is how we found Martin Fisk. Right out of Hell Hath No Fury. Looks like I have a fan. A deranged fan? Do you ever get letters from these groupies? Disturbing letters? All my fan mail is disturbing. It's mm -hmm. an occupational hazard. Well, sometimes, in cases like this, the killer wants to... Uh, Attempts to contact the subject of his obsession? Yes. I'm pretty well versed in psychopathic methodology. Another occupational hazard. Hmm. You have gorgeous eyes. So you'd have no objection to our looking through your mail? Knock yourself out. All right. Cut the crap. We'll be in touch. Okay. They used real cabbage heads. Oh, I, I want to talk to you about something. Babe, I know what you want to talk to me about. You do? Yeah, and you don't have to apologize to me. Look, love means never having to say you're sorry. But I do forgive you. When you're playing board games, you really shouldn't go so conceptual. You really want to go more literal. Stop. I took a pregnancy test today. What? You did what? I took a pregnancy test. I was a couple of days late, so I thought I should take a test. Hey, you cannot pull the goalie. No, look at you, you. You can't pull the goalie unless you check with your teammate first. It's not what this is about, Brad. It, it was negative anyway. I'm not pregnant. No, listen, if there's one thing we learned by being forced to be around our family today, it's about the dangers of procreation. Besides, that's not one of the things we want, right? You know, that's what I thought. You know, I've always known I don't want to have kids, and then I'm taking this test, and I'm, I'm waiting to find out if it's positive or negative, and just for a second, I felt different. I felt hopeful. Kind of like that it would just happen, and we'd be forced to get over our fears. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boundaries, boundaries. I know. We've spent our entire relationship creating these boundaries, but I don't want to live like that anymore, because that's not living at all. What, what is this, an 80s song? Are you talking 80s songs at the now? I'm tired of being one foot in. I want us to be open to love each other, however that may be. If that includes getting married someday or having kids, I think that's okay. I want this relationship to go where it needs to go. Really? Babe, I want this relationship to go to Fiji. This is serious, Brad, and I want to have this conversation. Uh, I don't want to have this conversation. You know, I feel the same way that I felt when we first had this conversation. I've been honest the whole time. I don't want to have this conversation because I don't want those things. Okay? Okay. I need some time apart. Oh, well, 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 let's not overreact. I'm, I'm not overreacting. I, I understand. 
I'm the one changing the rules, and, and if you don't want to change them with me, that's fine. But I just can't do this anymore. Hi, Mom! Oh, honey, you look tired. Mom, can't you at least say hello before you move on to criticisms? Oh, well, you know I'm glad to see you. Uh, but why didn't you stay, want to stay in the hotel? Well, Mom, you know, I think I told you why I'm here. I had to move back home here to find myself. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but you can stay on the couch for a couple few nights. No. No, I need my old room back, and I'm going to be here for a while. Oh, you can't have your old room back. That's my sewing room. Do you sew now? Well, uh, no, but I have things in there, and I don't want to move them. But, part, you know, part of the reason I moved back here is so I could find myself. I want to be in my old room to see what it's going to feel like. Are you hungry? No, I'm, I'm not hungry. You're sharing it's a shame because I made a beautiful meatloaf. Mom, for 20 years I've been a vegetarian, remember? I could scrape off the top of the meatloaf. What good is that going to do? Well, I, I don't know. Uh, well, don't you like eating meat? No, I just, I just don't like eating cows. But everything comes from cows. <gasps> How about lamb? I tell you what, tomorrow I'll do some shopping. No, I'll go for you. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Ah, it's Alice. Hello, yeah. No, I haven't got time right now. My son is here. No, no. <laughs> the writer. The divorced one. How is it with the girls? Not good. Oh, not good. <laughs> All right, I'll call you later. <laughs> Mom, I wish you wouldn't tell the whole world my personal business. That's just Alice. I tell you what, I'm going to take you out to a real nice dinner tonight. Oh, my God. You're losing your hair, aren't you? <gasps> Mom, oh. why do you have to ruin such a perfectly beautiful moment? Well, somebody's got to tell you. Gee, thanks a lot. I don't know why you don't talk to your brother. Hmm? We're different people. We're oh, different people. You can say that again. He's got a nice house, good job, lovely wife, two precious children. Whatever happened to you? I told you. I just have a little writer's block. Well, maybe it's uh, that you're not eating meat that's blocking you. Oh, look, oh, hey. It's your brother. Hi. Huh? What? What? Oh, my goodness, that's wonderful. Oh, congratulate. Well, you deserve it. Uh, your brother's here. What? What? Oh, no, well, um, all right. Goodbye, dear. Congratulations. Oh, he wants me to go to Los Angeles with him this weekend. But I'm here. Well, you want to come too? What? what? I just drove in from L.A. I can't have dinner with you tonight. Well, why not? Well, uh, don't ask me any questions. Well, why? Do you work for the CIA now? No. Well... I have a friend, and uh, he comes into town occasionally, and uh, he stays here. You mean he stays over? Yeah. Yeah, but not now, because you're here. I would think you would tell me about some man that you're intimate with. Oh, we're not intimate. We just have sex occasionally. Ooh. I mean, Look, oh. I have to go and get dressed. I'm going to dinner with him tonight. See you. Thank you, Mother. Later.